In this tutorial, we'll be using some Python to copy markers between scenes and files. So if you just want to copy the code, check out the link to the blog post in the description. Start by importing the Blender API. Then we'll keep a reference to the original scene and the target scene we want to copy the markers to. Next, we're going to make a loop so that for every marker in the source scene, we create a new one in the target scene. We pass the name and the frame number to the new function. If you have a camera bound to the markers, and the camera is also available in the target scene, you can set it after creating the markers like this. To copy between files, we write the markers into a file first, and then we we'll read that in the target blend file. It's a lot easier than it sounds, trust me. You can write these markers however you want. Here's what I'm going to do. One marker per line, start with the frame number, then a comma, then the name, and repeat for all markers. Alright, let's start by storing a path to a file. I'm on Linux, so paths use a forward slash. On Windows, they would look a bit different. Let's open that file for writing with a W parameter. Python will take care of creating it for us. While we have the file open, we'll do a loop again. But instead of copying them, we'll call the write function. The F makes this text a template, so the stuff in brackets will be replaced by the marker properties. The backslash n at the end adds an enter, so the next time we write it will be on a new line. Run this and you will have a text file that looks like this. Alright, moving on to the target blend file. Now we can open the file for reading with the R parameter. We will use read lines to read one line at a time and then the split function to split that text into two at the comma. Ok, now we have the marker data, we can add them the same way we did before. Now if we run this, you will find some weird characters at the end of the names. That's our friend, the backslash n. We need to get rid of that first, so let's add a strip function before splitting. Run it, and voila, there are the markers! Now that you can now import this markers file into any blend files you want. Hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials and cool stuff. See you in the next one guys.